This is Lewis Hart for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Always good to be joined with Ben Shalom here at the weigh-in. Uh, Joshua Boatsy, Tyler Denny, they're both weighed in. Um, yeah, all excited ahead of uh, ahead of tomorrow night. It's chaos, isn't it? I've never seen a weigh in this big. But credit to His Excellency and Riyadh season because this is special. Trafalgar Square. It's a it's a sight to behold. Something we'll remember in British boxing for a very long time. Absolutely. Just actually wanted to ask you something actually. When Joshua Boatsy was like about to weigh in, I see you was a bit annoyed about something. Like what was uh, what was going on there? It's just the usual games. Obviously, he's the number one and. Uh, and he should be announced, I agreed last second, and he was announced first, but that was all. Josh was a bit confused, but we move on, and, and I'm sure it won't happen tomorrow night. And when you do see, I guess, we'll just touch on Buatsi there, when you do see that face of like, the intensity coming from both guys, Buatsi getting booed, I don't really understand that, um, but yeah, it's, it's one that really gets people excited. I just think there were a few Willie fans in the crowd, and I think, I'm, I'm, as I say, I'm looking forward to seeing Josh in this mood, you know, it's been a long time that we've seen this this Joshua Boatsi and the viciousness and the ruthlessness I think could be, could play a factor tomorrow night. So um, yeah, very excited for him. He is more than ready. I think it's going to be a big statement. Tyler Denny as well, always in another intense face for Hamster. It's like two guys that they don't they're not going to talk shit. They're not going to throw tables, but we know they know both know the assignment tomorrow night. Tyler just seems to take everything in his stride. Every time that something's thrown, he's enjoyed all week. He weighed him unbelievably today. He's so confident. The game plan is there. I am predicting an upset. I really am. I think we've been here before too many times. <sighs> People talk about the weight for Hamza. He's very, very big at the weight. I don't know how much it takes a lot of him to come down to this weight. But for Tyler is perfect and he's been here before. And we've, we've, If you look through his last opponents and you look at the River Wilson Bent two fights and you look at the Brad Ray fights, you know, long, tall, rangy middleweights, of course not on the level of Hamza Shiraz. But Tyler is a seasoned pro and uh, does the fairy tale continue on Saturday night? I really believe it will. That was one thing you said, like, for at Tyler this week, you know, you, you'd have spent a lot of five weeks through him and I've spent a lot of five weeks through him. Probably the most confident I've ever seen him. Like I was in his, I was in his uh, room the other day, and we were just chatting to him. I've never seen him so happy. He's always confident. He loves to fight. I remember when he won the European title in Wolverhampton, and that was a new experience headlining. And he just, he just took it like it was duck to water. Like this is everything that he dreamed of. So he's not going to waste it. And and he's just a dream to work with. No complaints. Always positive. Always ready to go. Any fight. Very confident, just as confident as he was against Felix Cash, just as confident as, as he was in the European title. Loves the limelight, can't believe his chief support. And uh, look, all credit to Hamza as well. We've got a great fight, a great British fight. And um, yeah, I'm back in my mind. Let's get into it. I did want to ask you something. Um, yesterday, uh, just before the face of actually between Hamza Shiraz and Tyler Denny, um, not many people picked up on it, but there was, I guess, a, a few verbals exchanged between yourself and Eddie Hearn. Um, hey, I, I just asked him now um, and he gave his version of events he said he threatened to knock you out so what actually happened no he did he did I was I was completely shocked you know um, not really the way that I handle myself or I would ever operate I'm not gonna sink to that level but yeah to be uh, to be offered to be knocked out by a guy that apparently isn't rattled is a is an interesting one um, but as I say we're gonna keep building our business we're not gonna be threatened we're gonna keep signing our fighters we're gonna keep building them to this stage and I'm very proud of where we've where we've come and uh, yeah, to be to be having that much of an effect is a is a is a good sign. He said he contacted Guildhall, lost the property to try and find uh, your ass. He said it went. <laughs> I think you can see from the video it didn't. Yeah. I think you can see that. Um, look, he shouldn't be threatening to people, threatening to knock people out. He's nearly 50. He needs to grow up. You know, he needs to chill out. You know, let's be honest. Uh, look, I think everyone can see what's going on. Yeah. Absolutely, Ben. Pleasure to speak to you, mate. Top man. Cheers, All the best for tomorrow, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.